Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome. I'm so pleased that you're here to kick off the Harvard Climate Action Week with all of, all of us. You know, it's fitting. It really is fitting that this week begins with our symposium on climate, health, and equity, because our program today will lay out the stakes with absolute clarity. Climate change is not a distant, abstract concept or threat. Climate change is harming our health right here and right now. Climate ch change is deepening inequities right here and right now. And we all know that we have the tools to tackle climate change right here and right now. I really love the agenda for today's uh, uh, symposium. And I, I love the agenda because it brings together leaders from across disciplines and across sectors who are focused on bringing about solutions to the challenges of climate change. You're going to hear from global activists who are fighting to keep their communities healthy in the face of climate change. You're also going to hear from state and federal administrators who are using every tool at their disposal to advance environmental justice. And you will hear from Harvard scientists who are documenting the dangers of climate change and leading the charge to develop smart policies that can protect our people and our planet. Now, I think many of you know that the Harvard Chan School faculty are not new to this work. The Harvard Chan School faculty have been a leading voice for environmental health for decades. We've captured some of that work on a short video, and so I'll ask the team to play that clip for me. If we think about actions to fight climate change as opportunities to invest in public health, we will make our world healthier and more just today while we create a path towards a future we can be proud to handle to our children. The Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health has a decades-long legacy of tackling the health impacts of climate change. From the landmark Six Cities study, which led to a tightening of U.S. air pollution standards in the 1990s, to the founding of Harvard Chan Sea Change in 2018, to recent work on climate justice. The fundamental injustices in the global system are yet to be fully addressed in terms of who emits and also who bears the brunt. And the biggest emitters are not paying the price. And the impact of climate change on the spread of infectious disease. If we really want to prevent the emergence of diseases like coronavirus, uh, we have to be thinking about how we deal with nature and how we deal with the climate. Our researchers continue to break new ground communicate critical findings to everyone who can drive change and inspire new generations of climate optimists. The health community is a sleeping giant and we are waking up. We know what needs to be done and we are not gonna rest until we have the optimal treatment we need for our patients and our communities. An incredible piece. I hope you agree with me. Renee's words are ringing in my ears. She said, the health community is a sleeping giant and it is waking up. That's what today is all about. Everyone in this auditorium cares about health, justice, and equity. Everyone wants to build a more sustainable and resilient future. And so I hope you don't spend the next five hours simply listening. Use this convening to build connections and to forge collaborations. I hope you leave here knowing how you will make a difference right here and right now, because the world needs us to make that effort.